Need something? <laughs> yes. Captain, the camp expansion, your troops should be able to rest a little more easily now. Well done. I'll go take a look. Sir, any information I can provide? Thanks for the advice. We'll talk again soon. What is it? How's it going? How may I assist you? How may I assist you? Hmm. How may I assist you?
My humblest gratitude. Welcome back. Many thanks. Hey. Hey, Cap, get a load of this place. Quite a step up from our previous sleeping arrangements. This should be enough for you lowly soldiers, right, Leon? I'll be sleeping in a castle, of course, being an officer and all. Yeah, 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 very funny. You should take a look around and get familiar with the place. Just try to keep your jaw off the ground, being an officer and all. Welcome back. Porter, I can't believe you followed us all this way. I can't believe you remembered my name. When I heard you'd all joined Isoro's rebel faction, I came as fast as I could. Yeah, I'll bet. Gods know you've made enough money off of us. That's quite cold, sir. I assure you, my intentions are nothing but honorable. I'm just a humble merchant looking out for his clientele. All right, all right. But we're in the middle of a war, so don't hold it against me if you leave with empty pockets. If one of us is leaving here with empty pockets, I assure you it won't be me. <laughs> So, how are you liking Castilian? It's pretty impressive. I knew this place was bigger than Lanetta, but seeing it in person is another thing. Have you stopped by the markets? Not yet. I've been busy with other things. And they're not lying when they say it's the center of trade around here. Puts Lanetta to shame, that's for sure. Hey, don't knock the markets in Lanetta. We had a wide selection of fish, fish, and more fish. So, did you find anything useful? Just a few odds and ends. Here, you can have this. Present for me? I'm touched. If it doesn't suit you, you can always give it to someone else. Getting a gift from their commander might just make someone's day. That's not a bad idea. I'll give it some thought. How's it going?
How's it going? Looks like I'm not the only one who followed his nose. Right? I was in the middle of training, and next thing I knew, standing here drooling. I heard Sarah taking over cooking, but man, I wasn't expecting the food around here would change this much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Robert's cooking too. But it never made your mouth water like this. What do you think she's making over there? Not sure. It smells like some kind of roast. That scent's making me feel kind of funny. I believe that's called hunger. Not that. I mean like nostalgic or something. It reminds me of that job we did near Portum. Remember that tavern we stayed at? Oh yeah. That place we got into a fight and you smashed a bunch of furniture. Yeah, after we got out of there, I swore I'd never go back again. Now I kind of miss it. Sheesh. When did you get so sentimental? Hey, that's what good food does. Brings people together, gets their memory going, starts conversation. Why do you think I'm always going on about it? If the smell alone is enough to do all that, I guess I better go try some. You better hurry. Something tells me there won't be much left. Yes. Yes. You have my thanks. Yeah? How may I assist you? My humblest gratitude. Welcome back. I was wondering when you'd drop by. I didn't have much choice. That smell is dangerously good. It's just our mom's old recipe. Andrea was talking about it the other day, and it made me hungry for it. It's making the whole camp hungry now. So, you've appointed yourself camp cook? I thought I should make myself useful to everyone, considering I'm the one who got you all into this. Hey, I didn't say... No, it's fine. It's just... I see the way you all come back after battles, covered in cuts and bruises. I can't help out there, after what happened with... Well, let's just say, I don't have the stomach for combat. But a war isn't just one on the battlefield, and I know my way around a cook fire, so here I am. Oh, I hope that's okay. I don't really know the chain of command around here yet. If it makes you happy, I say go for it. Something tells me nobody's going to complain. Good. 
Now grab an empty seat and I'll fix you a plate. Ah, uh, you don't have to. I can help myself once everybody else has gotten some. Eden, you're a leader now. Sharing food is one of the best ways to get to know people. It'd be stupid to pass up the chance. You sound like Andrea. Now there's someone you ought to share a meal with. She could use a little socializing. How's it going? Hi there. Mm-hmm. You've done well. Looks like I've got one more skilled commander on my hands. 
Now go on. I'd say your people have earned some rest. Thank you, sir. What? That's it? What did you expect? A gold medal? Well, I mean, sort of. The soldiers in this camp have been fighting for months. If you really want a reaction, try coming back with a loss. Eden, a word with you, please. Thank you. For confirming these old eyes still know talent when they see it. I've ordered a feast in your honor. Enjoy it while you can. So? What'd he say? Ugh. Sheesh. This stuff is strong. I bet you could get a whale drunk with this. Hmm. You've never seen a whale, have you? It's just an expression. <laughs> I like drinking with you, kid. You smell like booze. Huh? I don't even drink that much. Relax. I meant it as a compliment, hmm? The way a noble smells like money. Makes me want to stick close to you. Hmm. I forgot how many little joys the world has to offer. Hope I live long enough to sample a few more. We've received some new information. It's to do with a man named Colin Korax. Colin... Isn't he that other rebel guy? The one who leads the Crows and writes those crazy manifestos. So I've heard. I don't know the details, but they're saying some of his commanders took their troops and splintered off. Why'd they go and do that? Taking on the Empire would be an uphill climb, even if we were all on the same side. But if Colin's crows are deserting... What does that mean? They don't think he can win? Mm, probably got tired of betting on an empty hand. Chose another game instead. You watch now. The ones who left will take over some poor little town, start calling themselves lords. Same story, different war. Just human nature, I guess. Nothing for it. <laughs> On the other hand, might be a different story if we get involved. Sir, High Commander Isoro is requesting you. We've just received a report that a few of Colin's crows have broken ranks and seized the town of Selvin. Guillermo, please elaborate. The leader is a man named Aurelio. Prior to deserting, he was one of Colin's senior most commanders. What kind of battlefield experience? Vanguard? Indeed. And that's not all. Our scouts have uncovered some troubling rumors. They say he's had dealings with monsters. What do you mean, dealings? Like what? Taming hellhounds? Ooh, is that even possible? He wouldn't be the first fool to try. If Benario is to have any hope of taking the fight to the Empire, we must attend to our own affairs first. Establish contact with the deserters. See if they're willing to leave Selvin in peace. And if they don't, then we pound them, right? Do what's necessary. Ballastar, I'm leaving this matter to you. As you command. And Eden. 
I'd like you to accompany Ballastar and act as his lieutenant. Huh? Oh, uh, right. As you command. My lord, with all due respect, can't we handle this on our own? I don't see the benefit in bringing these bumpkins along. Tell me, young lady, do you have much experience dealing with monsters? That's, uh, I mean, not specifically. There you have it, then. Right. Make preparations tonight and be ready to set out at dawn. Eden. Look after my nephew, will you? I'm counting on the unique perspective your council will bring him. Thank you for trusting me with this responsibility. I won't let you down, my lord. I'm sure you won't. However, I wasn't the one who suggested it. Something on your mind, Captain? Hmm... Like uncle, like nephew. I can't get a read on these nobles. Careful there. You're weirding me out. Usually you charge in first and ask questions later. All this worrying doesn't suit you. You're not wrong there. Hey, I'll be right back. What is it? Isoro said it was you who requested me for this position. Is that a problem? Not exactly. I was just wondering if there was some special reason. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. But my crew isn't some trained regiment. We're just a bunch of mercenaries. I can't figure out what game your uncle's playing at. Why hand this much authority to someone like me? We're all just pieces on the old man's warboard. If he thinks there's some use to you, that's all there is to it. Guess so. My uncle believes you and I might work well together. How's that? That's the same. Got no answer. He does so love being cryptic. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. I take it that's Aurelio. I'll handle the negotiations. Get your people ready. Ballastar Fenice. What kind of person are you? So... What is our plan here? We're trying to talk them down. <sighs> Why bother? Way both sides are squared up, I'd say there ain't much to discuss. Besides, can't let all those shiny swords go to waste. He's coming back! Negotiations have broken down. Prepare for battle. <laughs> 